It's difficult to find information on how to write your MD PhD essay or what should be included. So in this video, I'm going to tell you just that. Hi, I'm Nadine Evans from BMO Academic Consulting. Before we dive in, subscribe on whatever social media channel you're watching this from. That way, you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. If you want us to help you with your MD PhD application, click the link either above or below this video to schedule your free initial consultation. Admissions officers are looking to select students for the program that demonstrate a serious commitment, passion, and motivation for both research and the medical profession. As the MD PhD program is seven to eight years, it's essential for them to seek individuals who are truly invested in becoming physician scientists and who are able to handle the grueling work needed to get there. The MD PhD essay is one of two additional mandatory essays required by the MD PhD programs where you'll have to explain why you want to pursue both a medical degree and a PhD degree. In general, this will be a one page document with an introduction, body paragraph, and a conclusion. So what should you include? It's important that you convey in your essay that the reason you're pursuing the joint degree is not because you can't decide which route to take, it's because you wouldn't be happy with a career that didn't include both research and medicine. You need to explain your reasoning and motivation behind why you want a joint degree. You'll need to take some time reflecting on your past experiences. Start by asking yourself what experiences have motivated and reinforced your desire to pursue an MD PhD degree. Where did your interests begin and what experiences have worked to solidify those interests? What draws you to research and medicine at the same time? Make sure to include your research experiences throughout as it will be critical to demonstrate your development as a scientist. When you talk about your research, try to do it from a larger perspective. The admissions committee wants to see your critical thinking, level of contribution and participation and knowledge. What do you need to portray? Well, the admissions committee is looking for a variety of specific qualities that you need to demonstrate during your essay. This includes maturity, empathy, and compassion, sincerity and reflectiveness, integrity and leadership, persistence and drive, commitment and self-awareness, and of course, excellent communication skills. What you need to avoid. Grandiosity. Making statements in your essay such as, I'm going to cure cancer one day, completely undermines you, and if anything, it shines a light on your lack of maturity and inability to understand the depth of the particular problem you are claiming to solve. Describing your destiny. The reason that you want to pursue an MD-PhD program should not be because it's in your destiny or because you've always wanted to. You need to provide concrete examples and experiences to prove why you want to pursue this field. Cliches. Remember, you are unique and so are your experiences, so don't rely on saying the same things everyone else is planning on saying, such as, I love science and I want to help people. Be original and genuine. Playing the victim. You may have had to face difficult challenges in your life, and it can be okay to discuss these, only if you're taking that experience and describing what you learned from it, how you overcame that challenge, and why was it important. The admissions committee is looking for your resilience, strength, and ability to reflect if you choose to discuss a difficult time. Writing without checking the program requirements first. Different schools may have different requirements for the MD-PhD essay. Specifically, they may have set word counts that they need you to adhere to. They may also ask you for certain questions that they want you to answer, so it's essential to check the program requirements for the essay first. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please subscribe, like, and leave a comment if you have any questions. If you want to learn about how we can help you with your application, click our link above or below to book a free initial consultation. Thanks for tuning in and see you next time.